in a matter of 30 seconds, it was over. Um, but it, of course, it feels like an, a lifetime. A survivor's reaction tonight after a tornado leaves a path of destruction and a family with nothing. Good evening, everybody. Our Wednesday evening was wild and dangerous thanks to at least one tornado. In Adams County, strong winds and hail dealt a blow in and around West Union. But to the north, the damage was much more severe. Hail rocked this pool, leaving large dents all over the place, and the playpen also took a beating. A tornado touched down in Cedarville, Ohio, about eight miles northeast of Xenia, where a massive tornado destroyed part of the town 40 years ago. And this is what the scene looked like for people in Cedarville tonight. Watches a funnel forms and just falls from the sky, and this is how it began. And this is how it ended, with a house and a barn obliterated. And underneath all that rubble is a family trapped. But amazingly enough, they got out unharmed. Local 12's Larry Davis spoke with them. He has their incredible story of survival. The twister touched down around 6 this evening, traveling in a northeasterly direction, leveling this pig farm that has been in the Dobbins family since the 1880s. Seven people headed for the basement. And it's a good thing they did because tonight they are live to tell about it. His family farm reduced to rubble, Roger Dobbins is just thankful no one got hurt. He and six other friends and family members rushed to the basement when a twister rolled through the Cedarville area. So we all went in and went down to the cellar um, and hunkered down together and felt the wall shake and the rain come over and um, we knew something had happened. We just didn't know how bad it was. Sherry Dobbins says the tornado sounded like a freight train. They were in the basement for just a matter of minutes when everything around them was destroyed. Police Chief Chris Gillaw spotted the twister heading toward the farm. I was no more than four football fields away from it. The tornado itself looked like it to be about a football field width. So I went ahead and called in. We had the tornado on the ground. It was picking up debris. It was, you could see when it was hitting telephone poles and just pulling the poles right out the ground. Roger Dobbins says he and the others were trapped in the basement for about a half an hour before being rescued by firefighters. We couldn't get out till they dug us out and cut a hole because we have a set of steps come out of the basement, but it fallen over a wall, fallen over on it. So I, I can hear all these guys, they're digging us out. <laughs> they couldn't hear me. Even though he lost the family farm, Roger Dobbins knows that life goes on. He's thankful no one was hurt. I've been around here long enough to know that, that you know you can move on as long as nobody was hurt. In Cedarville, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. That is one lucky family tonight before the storms hit.